the great Lady Liberty who declares, give us your tired, your poor, your wretched. And please, get them out of my way. Morgan Fairchild is Sydney Chase in The City, premiering November 13th. Oh, good, you're still here. And got yourself some coffee? Mm-hmm. I, I brought this down from the attic last night. I guess I was feeling kind of blue. There's an awful lot of stuff in there. Yes, Ava, you'd say, Mama, you don't throw away anything. But I did. Of course, you have to with eight kids. And then I regretted it. I felt like I'd lost some memories. Now, you know, not all of my memories are happy ones either, but... I treasure each one because together they make up a life. What I wanted to show you was this. This is the best part of the book. Look, those are just blank pages. Yes. For new memories. And I know that mine won't all be perfect either. But you see... As long as we're here on God's green earth, I believe that we have to live life to its fullest. So, won't you stay in Corinth and, and be a friend who helps me fill some of these blank pages? to get some rest? You mean sleep it off. No, I mean get some rest. Aye, aye, sir. Well, go on now. How come you're not leaving? I don't know. what you're doing. Even more than I know what I'm doing. You don't know. I know one thing. I know that I, I've always cared about you very much. And I always will. Look, I, uh, I got something I gotta take care of. Then I'll be talking to you. Mom, he's not proposing to me. I just wanted to let you know that, um, well, I'm in love with Stephanie. 
And I want to spend some time with her, if that's okay with you. Anthony, I liked you from the first moment I met you. Yeah, that's because you thought she was my sister. Well, that certainly didn't hurt. Who do you have to kiss to get some service around here? Oh, my clientele is getting more genteel by the moment. Oh, mama, madame. Bonjour. I'm trying to avoid a kangaroo. He's asking some questions about Dana. Um, Tony and Ash. I'll, uh, I'll go handle the kangaroo. Told Tony about Gwen? Yeah. I was taking a big chance, Stephanie. Well, they say those are the ones worth taking. And I think this one's really paying off. I, uh, thought I told you not to move. Well, you know, I've always, uh, found it hard to follow instructions, Tony. Yeah, so I noticed. And not only did you move, but I see you were throwing a few moves on Allie. No, no, I was just having a very civilized conversation with young Allie. Well, that might be so, but if Uncle Alex even finds out you're asking her the time of day, he might flatten you again. Which, by the way, Richard, you deserve. Yes, I know, mate. You're probably right. Excuse me? Yes, well, I think, uh, oh, Alex waited long enough. I think I pushed him to the edge for that old punch. You know, Rich, this really isn't personal with you, is it? You really haven't been listening to me, have you, Tony? You're a strange duck, Richie boy. <laughs> the scary part is, I'm actually starting to like you. You might be a little human after all. Well, I'll try to keep a lid on that. Now, about my riddle. How did Gwyn Alden end up dead? Because that's the only way it could end. Now, if you are human, let her stay dead, Rich. Alrighty, anticipating popular demand, I think I will be leaving. Oh, and, uh, I agree with Ali. Steffi, I think you'll do sensationally in New York. Oh, well, he hears all and he tells all, doesn't he? Allie's trying to talk me into moving to New York with her. Yeah? Does she have any luck? You know, with Wilk and snooping around, maybe it's not a bad idea for you to go to New York. And don't worry about your mother, because I could keep an eye on her. Oh, well, I thought you'd be going, too. I mean, it is your hometown and everything. Yeah, I know that, Steph, but I'm... Any level. More for a star-studded celebration when Planet Hollywood comes home. Today, will Erica fall back into the drug-induced treatment of Dr. Kinder? Find out on All My Children, here on ABC. They're not selling used cars.